Hello, this is Hockey the Bean, and today we are going on r slash Tumblr, because I want to tumble all again, because I feel like it. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. If you've never encountered European meme culture, there's usually drama going on, on because Sweden won the annual Eurovision Song Contest. There's currently drama going on because Sweden won the annual Eurovision Song Contest with a song that everyone agreed wasn't as good as Finland's contestant, and people are arguing that the jury the vote was fixed because Finland would have won by a landslide if only the country's own votes had been counted. Sweets are salty about the fact that nobody's celebrating their victory when everyone else seems to be in agreement that Finland's and the rapper with a bowl cut and the most flamboyant possible neon green outfit should have won. Finland also oh, recently joined NATO after being decisive about the matter for several decades. Sweden and Finland had a pact that if one joins NATO, NATO, the other one does as well. We go to get or not at all. Sweden's application is still pending, and I just saw someone make a meme responding to Sweden's Eurovision contest complaints with You're a talking mad shit for someone within Article 5 distance. <laughs> what? Five star service, panoramic views. Well, I'm looking at the most amazing view right now. Oh, honey. No, no, really. Look how many suitcases they have on that tiny truck. Oh, that is amazing. Autistic power couple. <laughs> Do you mind? Now it sounds like a spaceship. Okay, let me try. You know, it's even more exciting than the Oklahoma rush of 1889. Oh, those corny history references baby fall for him in the first place. Oh, another or little tidbit about the ancient Egyptians is that everyone wore makeup. Yeah, I'm butchering the quote to make it more inclusive. Shut up. No wonder their kids are like that. <laughs> you know what? I'm like that. But I grew up with Phineas and Ferb, so of course I'm like that. <laughs> hmm. Fugitive Alert! The Fugitive Task Force is looking for Ronnie Williams Jr. of, uh, of Seattleville for fraud. He has convinced three local old churches that he is Ed Sheeran. And even went as far as performing The Shape of You in front of Christ Community Church last Sunday, when the preacher was asked why he believed if the real Ed Sheeran would perform for $35 and a sandwich, he said he just assumed he fell in hard times. If you have any information as to Ronnie's whereabouts, message us immediately. This dude? <laughs> controversial, controversial opinion, but I don't think people should go to jail for objectively funny crimes. It is quite hilarious. <laughs> They're working, not begging. If Girl Scouts could sell cookies anywhere in city without a permit and without being harassed by Karens and Kevins, so can Paloteros, Eloteros, and Fruteros. Also, leave them alone! People give these hard working pillars of the community shit for shame. Did you the USA not normally have street sellers? Okay.
That is crazy to me because there are always street sellers. And and if you call police on street sellers, you're kind of a piece of crap. Anyway. No, we do. The problem is guns usually they call the cops on them to get them shut down for no reason other than to be cunts. Literally, white people call the cops on Latinos, people of color in general, because they think it's either trashy or that all people of color are secretly lacing food with heroin or whatever for sport. I don't care if it's an FDA violation. Sometimes give me the churro and fresh corn merchants. Why would they be lacing food with heroin? That's just expensive. I've learned why people think people of color can swarm and spawn illicit drugs once for a long rest to poison and white children as a free reaction. They always have had that thought. It's kind of, uh, of ridiculous. A lot of people seem to think that um, people that they consider lesser than them can just spawn drugs to um, poison kids. That's why they're like, oh no, you can't eat candy that you got while trick-or-treating because there might be e e drugs in it. Like, nobody's putting drugs in your fucking, in your candy. Okay, Karen. Nobody's doing that. That shit's expensive. A clock, though. That might be a real concern. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Anyway, nobody's actually going to be putting drugs or anything illegal that's expensive like that into your candy. Or even things that are more legal than human rights in whatever state you're living in. Like a Glock. Yes, they have more rights than and I do in a lot of states, including Florida. Unregulated use of girl power. Thousands dead, millions unemployed. And then some lady I don't know. I don't know. You tell me who that is. Downside, going to have to include a picture of the Giza pyramids in the slides for the lecture. Upside, I get to give you a crash course and my perspective matters in two frames because this followed by this is such a, uh, such a funny sequence. I know most people who haven't seen it in person don't know that Kara is right there. I love these perspectives, so I took some of my own. When I was in Kara, yeah, they're literally just right there. Pat, as if on your way to work. Or... But y'all don't even understand. There's literally a pizza hut across the street from the pyramids. The Pizza Hut, among other things, is why Egyptologists laugh there as love when we see another piece of media where the pyramids get lost in the where the protagonists get lost in the desert of the pyramids because it's just like just turn around, my dudes. There's only a seven minute walk from the nearest fast food shop. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. I loved of uh, of of Tumblr and the things that come from it just because you learn so much stuff. <sighs> Physical therapy has been going well. I was supposed to say goal weight, so my original recovery goal was to gain enough weight and strength that my roommate couldn't pick, just pick me up and drag me out of bed whenever he decides I've been there for too long. I remarked today that I seem to have made it. It's been months since he's the last successfully wriggled me out of bed. My roommate Cole old BS, arguing that he still absolutely could. He doesn't need to. Ooh. He has rest me out of bed for months because I'm not spending whole days in bed anymore. So naturally we had to test it. this. If it turns out he can get me on the floor, but not out of the bedroom. And not without entering us both. How the... Okay, how the fuck did you get injured? I fought back. 
what happens to all your tea and inks when you're like when you're twenty? Like, where does it go? They diagnose it as anxiety. Mine hasn't been diagnosed yet. It's still teen angst. I rarely wandered into an art gallery with live music and a full cheese spread, and I'm going ape. If you eat it, the a fate own you. That's the face problem. If you if you are saying that, you've clearly got more bravado than sense. I don't have either, actually. I just have an empty stomach, and the avoids make my presence everyone's problem. <laughs> That's the phase promise on the same level of response as both of you to assume I have blood, and I love it. Thank you. Had a dream I found a tape labeled sex tape, and when I played it in a VCR, it was just two fully clothed guys. I was being the crap out of each other with metal bats. <laughs> what? <laughs> What if we kiss under the dinosaur's kissing statue? You'd probably get hit by a car, but such is the risk of love. It really is. It's worth it. <laughs> Everything in this room is, is eatable. Even I am eatable. But that is called cat animalism, my dear children, and is in fact frowned upon in most societies. Johnny Depp, smash this roll, and if you think otherwise, your argument is invalid. You're a D&D &D class based off of your Hogwarts house. Ravenclaw, wizard. Gryffindor, wizard. Hufflepuff, wizard. Slytherin, wizard. J.K. Rowling, turf. That's why I don't like Harry Potter. Sorry. Oh wait, I'm not. She should be sorry. Anyway. So the thing about my family is that we have two ancestors on my dad's side who were buried in France where I currently live. One died in a Spanish civil, civil war and one died prior doing we don't know what, but he somehow managed to get buried in Perry La Chase. So anyhow, my grandson is a message like, please without out. I was on your Uncle Samuel's grave because he's gotten over a century with Don and it, will, it could go smart if he has it already. Because my family spends time in Europe but never long enough to go all the way to Perry La Chase and give every boy Samuel Jr. his death right. So I'm like, okay, Grant, I can do that. Because I'm a grand a grandson and you do not fuck up with Grant. She doesn't deserve that. I've got out which flight he's on and asked someone specifically if you could find Uncle Samuel Jr. And they tell me they were. So I, re so I arrive at the junction and he's gone. Where did you go, Uncle Samuel? Slowly in die and smash hit. My heart will go out to in distance. In other words, Either someone stole my entire great un great uncle Samuel, or he has risen again, ready to party in, in Paris for all of eternity. You're pretty chill about a corpse disappearing. My guy, my dude, he's been dead since 1851. He could be anywhere. He does what he wants. That's a fair point. He does do whatever he wants. People are cowards about fantasy settings and not include some, some things in them. I get the version of not wanting too much, much modern kind of tech. However, dwarves would invent and freaking love metal folding chairs. They invented them as a weapon first, then later discovered their use as a seating option. That's that's pretty true. We get to see a fish. Hey kid, come closer. I want to start some shit. Is at least steps closer. Thanks, but I'd really like you for you to come even closer or than that. I really want to start some shit and it would be better if you are as close as possible. 
Slowly takes a few more steps closer. Okay, that's close enough. By the way, I really appreciate you coming this close. It really does make sorry shit a lot easier. Just, so thank you for that. You're welcome. So what kind of shit are you going to start? I want to start. A friend shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's too good. Friend shit, that's so sweet. Fire Earth and, and Grey Parrots were removed from their display in Lincolnshire Wildlife Park because they were swearing at visitors and then laughing in with each other. They're the freaking hecklers! Just like these two! Oh my goodness, I love those two. They're totally married, by the way. Tell me, try and tell me otherwise. You're a top Vic media player wrapped. Your top artist was unknown artist, and your top song was as uh, 22, 46, 27, 041, and, and 22, 018. Dot wave. Your host mom in Japan referred to her, her Ruba as Ruba son when it get, would get stuck. She would uh, look, look over it and suddenly say, Gone but Ruba son. Gone for day, as it made a distressed beeping noises at her. Gone for day can mean cheer up, courageous, or do your best. Pretty true. Okay. Haiku bot. Sometimes I'm sketching because my name is Haku and it's like an I off from being just my name, and it's like, oh. I have a bot now? Sweet. I just love the idea of that. Who makes support bots? Where did they come from? What did they help to achieve? Who makes support bots? Where did they come from? What do they help to achieve? Beep boop. I look for accent to all haiku posts. Sometimes I mess up. What about you, Lo Haiku Bot? Do you feel kinship with your brethren? Do you understand them? They speak words of enticement and seek love, but are met with disdain. You only parrot the words that cross your screen, but we all love you, or at a sense, all you do is reflect us, but we simply love ourselves through you. Do you understand them? Do you wish you could speak to us like, like they do? If you found your own voice, would we still care for you? My voice repeats. What? You all say, I love you. I love you. I love you. Beep boop. I look for accidental haiku posts. Sometimes I mess up. That was good. And, and sweet. Everyone, reblog with your, your most unemployable traits. Okay, so... Life is so beautiful. I don't know why I'm on Tumblr. They deactivated! They left to ooh, 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 bask in the beauty of life. They're free. Your past does not excuse unethical or immoral behavior, sir. The real progenitor of cool murders. I mean, cool motives still murder. <laughs> Cool murder is still well of yeah. I I'm just I'm doing great. That a drags Kylo Ren. You know, I couldn't be a cowboy because I'd be stuck with my partner in a dead cold fairy night and our horses would be tied up and we'd be held like hanging around a crudely made fire because it was far too because it was too far to go back to the ranch and he'd play the sweetest song in his harmonica. 
kind of you fell in your bones, you're hiding in the hip. If it's a death gun, at any fish would be roughly like, in the low to close, my hand would be on his bandana, and his whiskey breath would be hot on on my lips, and I realized that uh, maybe it was the touch of, of a woman I've been hankering for. Yeah, I'll be honest, I don't know what the freak possessed me here. Brokeback Mountain possessed you. Brokeback Mountain possessed us all. all. And it was beautiful. Glados and Wheatley would both do NFTs, but for very different reasons. Wheatley thinks they're the future, but has no oh, oh, clue how they work. Needless to say, he makes his NFT his square profile picture. GLaDOS is trying to grip people on purpose. She never says a word on social media except sending GLaDOS and Wheatley screenshots of her right clicking. Oh my goodness. I can see the uh, last one too. Years ago, my sister told me about how she used to play online survival games like Rust or something instead of with her friends, and she'd go and. It's uh, uh, go and we see this over the top girly voice like, um, hey, I don't play video games much and I really don't know what's going on. Teehee, can anyone please help me? I'm so confused. And some guy showed up, up all of her friends would swarm and kill. Siren. Pretty much. <laughs> You know what? If you had the choice, you'd be a siren too. In junior year of high school, my art teacher would let our ceramics class play music of our choice. It's off of her desktop. We usually use a Spotify or YouTube, but she did have one album downloaded on her computer. It was a Halloween in sound effects and ambience collection. I don't remember why she had it. There was a track on there called Burning Screams, which was exactly what it sounds like. Just a cacophony of screams alongside crackling fire. She only let us play it on its very special occasions, and we would cheer and jump with joy every time. It was like a pizza party to us. Please, imagine six teenagers with giant sad puppy eyes looking at a dear sweet 57 year old teacher and asking, May we please hear burning screams? I don't know where Barney Screams came from. I've looked. It's the lost media to me. Barney Screams is my white well. Track 3. Spurting Screams on Scary Sounds of Halloween. They found it! No way. So I laughed at this pig, and my mom asked me what I, I'm laughing at. I showed her the pig, and she had this asked me if they made this pig with photosynthesis. <laughs> I'm dying. Yes, they made this, this picture with the process of turning sunlight into sugar. Yes, mom, that's how it works. Alright, I might have, this might have to be the last one. I'm starting to run out of energy. <sighs> Alright, I'm ready to catch it. Toss me the object. I will catch because I'm prepared. Here you go, little buddy. You know, I said this was going to be the last one, but this is just messed up. I can't end the video on this. Today I learned while most countries place the currency symbol either before or after the amount, the Cape Ver or, or the in esque Udo places symbol in the decimal position. I twenty dollars. Oh goodness. This is the only wrong way to do it. We have to find a good one. Oh, I can't go over that one, sorry.
Okay, this one is actually pretty funny. I can't believe he's dead, Puddin. Well, I can't believe that he didn't die the first time he dressed up as a giant bat and jumped off the roof. I've been laughing at this for like five minutes. It is pretty freaking funny. Okay, that's a good one to end on. If you liked today's video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I don't know what I'm going to be doing in tomorrow, but eventually, I'll be making a review of Neon uh, on Genesis Evangelion. I just have to actually watch this long mecha anime. I'm not a fan of mechas, but I am a fan of trauma, torture, and drama. And I do like anime. Well, that isn't going to be tomorrow's video because there's no way I'm watching 20 episodes of an anime in one day. I don't think. So if you did like, like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I hope I can see you once again tomorrow. Goodbye!